I've been getting a lot of people asking how I'm separating the vocals from the sample, like having just the instrumental and then just the vocals and then chopping them separately. Like, like I've been doing in my last couple videos. So I'm gonna go over that today. Okay, that's enough. So basically I'm gonna give you guys a short tutorial on how I do that. I feel like this method of chopping samples could help a lot of people that don't want vocals or they get in the way of the drums or someone rapping on top, having vocals on the beat already. After this, bro, you guys would be fucking in there like swim more. You got what I mean? Let's get to it. First order of business, you need an MP3 to separate. Where do you get that from? You get it from YouTube, one of those softwares, YouTube to MP3, or you sample a record, or you already have an MP3 somehow. But if you need one of those, this is what I use right here, Media Human. This sounds cool already. This is fucking gas. Oh my God, okay, anyway, um, say this is the one you wanna separate. All you would have to do is come up here, to the link, copy it, control copy or right click, press copy. And then you bring up Media Human, press paste, and look what's here, bro. And then all you gotta do is download. And it takes like literally like seven seconds. L A L A L dot A I. This is where you, you separate your vocals and your instrumental. Okay, we downloaded our sample here. We go to locate downloaded file, it brings up my folder where all my samples are, and it highlights the one I just downloaded. All you gotta do is drag it to here. Boom. And it queues it up, it takes a little bit, it takes a couple minutes. After this, it's gonna ask you if you wanna process the entire file or just take a snippet that it gave you, which is here. See, so here's our vocals. Here's our instrumental. Without you, this is what it normally says over it, but you press process entire files so you want that whole shit. You want to look through that whole MP3 file, see if there's anything at the end you want to sample or whatever. That's what I normally do. But this website is free for like, I want to say a, a couple songs, like a couple separations. And then after that, you would have to pay or like wait some time. Anyway, I paid for it. So I have. 265 minutes of songs I can do. I love chopping samples with vocals on them already because I like how they cut in and out of the sample, but having the option to take them separately, is you cannot beat it, bro. You cannot. It's all done. So we're gonna download this. We're gonna download this. Let's go open two instances of Serato sample to load in our vocals and their instrumental. So here's one. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna drag the other here. Boom, and then that's it, bro. That's that's all it is. You just go come in here and press find samples if you want. I wanted to throw in one more thing because I got a question of what I put besides delay on my vocals from the last video. Here is all that I have on the vocals. That's it, it's just the delay and then RC20. Here's the settings if you want to screenshot. Go ahead, do your thing. I just wanted to walk you guys through that because uh, I know there's been a couple people having trouble with knowing what the fuck I'm doing. I, I expect you guys to know what I'm doing because I know what I'm doing. It's dumb as fuck. So thank you guys for asking the question so I know what I can help out with. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Love you guys. Uh, until the next one, which is very soon. Bye bye.